Centronia is a bilingual public charter school in Columbia Heights that welcomes English and Spanish. Its staff is working to improve the education and literacy rates within D.C.'s Latino community. Latinos are the largest minority in D.C. public schools, but less than half go on to college, and many don't graduate high school. Gabriela Aguayo is working to change that, one book at a time. Five years ago, the librarian started organizing book fairs at the school to encourage students and their parents to start reading. She says books are not very accessible in Latin America, so reading is not a big part of Latino culture. For example, many of our students, they never um, have been in a Borders or Barnes and Nobles, and they don't know that culture of the book. They're not familiar with that. And, and so to bring the book fair here for them is a huge success. Aguayo says kids look forward to the fairs each December. Children are asking me through the whole year, when is Gabby? When the when we're gonna have the book fair? When are we gonna sell the books? And I think it's working. And the reading fever is contagious. Some of the kids, for example, the fifth graders, sometimes they are coming and they are reading to the little ones, and they have their favorite books. Aguayo says sincerity and passion are the best ways to motivate students. They they see the way that I treat books and the and the way that everybody in the school is treating books, the importance of reading. And, oh my God, look at this book. Oh, qué fantástico. Mira lo que qué va a pasar. Y mira los dibujos, mira los colores. And so I think children, they perceive that. The students at Centronia aren't just reading in English. The school encourages students to maintain their Spanish. Aguayo says Spanish is not a language barrier, but a bridge. And that way they can access both worlds and maybe uh, another world. Maybe they can learn another language. Centronia's message to students, crecimiento, aprendizaje, liderazgo. Growing, learning, leading. Reporting for District Wire News, I'm Gabrielle Border.